Greetings, Keechlings. Keechin Prime here with my live reaction of My Hero Academia, Chapter 208. Um, what is the title? The fourth set concludes. It's literally been like one chapter. <laughs> In like a very last sliver of the one prior to that. But still. Damn. <laughs> uh... But the, uh, before I get any further, I want to let you know that I'm doing a new kind of series of live reactions. I'm doing American comics like Marvel, DC, that kind of stuff. Um, so give me links to suggestions that you want so that I can save them for future reactions. Um, I should have one posted tomorrow. So I forgot to mention that in the One Piece one, but I have at least one a day. So at least when there's nothing else coming out that is try not to oversaturate because they get long <laughs> uh, but let's see okay so Bakugo had uh, saved Ojiro Ojiro uh, why did they have to name two students almost exactly the same thing I do have to wonder, like, this dude with the blades, like, I don't remember his name, I'm sorry, but why do, why are his blades different? Every single one of them. This one's serrated coming out of his leg. It's just weird. Oh, he's like, oh, just remember. It's like, if you're in trouble, I'll save your dumb asses. <laughs> oh, with that. Um, well, dang. You just knocked him back, and then he made a blade coming out of his back, so I guess he could s stop his moment. I don't know. I don't get the point in that. I guess it softens the blow. <laughs> Yeah, he, wait, he's whispering that, but she's like way over there, unless, does she have like one segment with each one of her teammates and like it gives them a psychic link, supposedly, I would think, hmm. Oh, and now I really wish we would get to his round quicker so we could knock his ass out, because I hate this dude. Like, I think a lot of other people do, too. I mean, he has a cool power, but that personality. Mm. Oh, and I can already see a weird face in the next panel. Or a panel down below, sorry. Um, but yeah, he's like, huh. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Bakugo actually being helpful. And Kaminari's like, well, he did do it with a kick, so it's still Bakugo. Uh, yeah, Monoma, I, I don't, I don't like you. This face, I do not like this face. Uh, Aw, uh, Kaminari, Baku bro, you know. He always stepping up for him. Uh, stepping up? That is not the term I, was, that I thought I was going to use. Whatever. You know, he's uh, speaking up for him. That's what I was, I think. Anyway, whatever. I've spent too much time on it. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, yeah. And now he's flying off. And Jiro's like, thanks. He's like, shut up. I didn't do it for you. Keep searching. You did do it for me. He's <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, that that's some that's some piss and vinegar right there, I tell you. Four to zero is what he's aiming for. Perfect victory. Uh I, this is the kind of behavior that he should be doing. This is definitely All Might levels of hype for, like, rallying the spirits of those around you. Okay, Gloopot is doing stuff. What is that on his belt? Also, I do kind of like the the gauntlets, or not the gauntlet, but it's like the the bands on his wrist and then the one around his head. I'm not sure if that's supposed to look like anything other than a freaking revolver <laughs> chambers or not is really short okay and then you got uh, Takage she's uh, telling them like if if you have if Bakugo comes in and you have to fight him head-on we, we can't win. And if you can't capture him immediately, retreat. So they're going to just try and keep ambushing. And she's still got her little things going about. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so because they're obeying Bakugo's orders, roughly, they're somehow a one man team? I don't get that. But yeah, they stress them out or, or stress out Bakugo, it'll all start to fall apart. Okay, and Jiro's having a hard time figuring out everything because of the interference. Oh god, what is, okay, he's flying, th oh, he's about to meet with Mr. Fuse. That's what I would call him. Wait. Is he not the guy? Have I been saying that for the last two or three chapters and been having it wrong? I could have sworn. What is it? High speed construction. I don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. High-speed construction, so he is going to fuse them together to make, like, a staff or something, right? Yeah, okay, so he is the guy. He is weld craft. <laughs> I like that. So he had the... He's like... I don't know what they are. Metal? Concrete? Wood? They don't necessarily look like wood, but, I mean, he's carrying them around carrying a wound hello I'm five years old <laughs> um, carrying around like all these things in his pouches if they were anything other than wood I'd say how does he keep his pants on because that would weigh them down considerably but he's fused Bakugo to the frickin like pillars and uh, like the pipes and yeah right to the skin and everything so it's not like he can just take off his gauntlets and like get free so this is bad <laughs> um uh 
Okay, so he's trying to, uh, Ciro's trying to find Takage's eyes, which, is it all of her body? And they can, like, like send all information, and I, I don't get how her power works in a surveillance situation, because she seems to be able to roughly see everything, even though parts that don't have eyes, unless maybe she doesn't, and that's just kind of like freaking everyone out. To think she can? But Awash, or Awasha, I think. Uh, he's like, eh, you won't hit me with that, but I don't think he's trying to hit you. Was he? Oh god. Oh no! Here it comes Sugar Rush! Okay, Sugar Man saved him. Gotcha. You did a good, Sato. You did a good. You, you busted it up, except that's gonna be. Like, can he unfuse things? Because otherwise, how do you un. Uh, how, do you have to surgically remove some of that? Hmm. Well, that just proves I can't do that as an attack for that power-up video, then. <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, coming through. Yeah, this is bad. What are you going to do? What? Oh, he's making like... Okay, I thought he looked like he was wearing armor or whatever, but they're removable plates that he can rearrange and fuse. He can make armor for himself. Awesome. Okay, here comes Jiro and Saro. Oh. She's... Oh... That's different. Heartbeat surround. She connected the things that are normally on. She can detach the like speakers on her wrists and like have them attached to her earphone jacks and just like, like sound bash you. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know she could... I mean, I guess it makes sense. Huh. I didn't even think about that, but that's pretty cool. Okay, here's Glue Pot. What's he gonna do, if anything? <sighs> oh, he, he sends more glue. Of course. I would have... I'm wondering if he can, like, up the pressure and, like, just shoot from one hole and then to be like... Pzzz. And, like, it's harder to dodge because it's smaller? In a way? Or would it be easier to dodge, I guess, technically? But, like, because it's moving faster, it'd be harder to dodge. Oh, Bakugo's getting warmed up. So, even though it, it's his weakening, or he's weakened in this kind of weather, he, he's getting warmed up, so the sweat is a pouring. Which is just fucking gross. Okay, uh, Sato comes in and has secured uh, Bondo. Okay, and they got Awasha. They got him wrapped up in tape. And Monoma is freaking out. It's like, he wasn't supposed to have this kind of level of teamwork. How the hell did this happen? So now it's two on one. 
This ain't good. <laughs> It really is very efficient teamwork for the most part. I wasn't. I, I even mentioned like they have like all the kind of ranges. You have short to long range all covered. And some of them even have mid range abilities as well. So it gets that nice middle ground. And But it's a combination that I wasn't sure would work this well, mostly because of Bakugo. But with his personality kind of being, you know, fixed, that's for lack of a better term his teamwork skills are very impeccable I have to say so he basically just goes in wrecks their shit and then they come and clean up the mess <laughs> which I mean it's worked I <laughs> Uh, Kaminari and uh, Kurishima, they're, they're like, oh, that drumming paid off. Yeah, the band experience. Let's see. What is she doing with her headphone jack there? Oh, so she is kind of like a lizard in that regard. Like, the whole, like, if a lizard loses their tail, they, they grow it back. Like, if she, like, her parts can split and move around, but after a while they can't move anymore, or at least by Sarah's theory. And then she just regenerates to make up for the parts that she couldn't call back. Hmm. How much time has passed in this particular exercise, though? Yeah, it, when it comes to regeneration, it usually has a limit. Especially given that that's like technically her second ability that she's capable of in that, with her power. So, so yeah, like when you're having to like keep making new from nothing, I'm sure that probably wears you out in no time. Yep, and uh, remind you of um, Momo. X catapult. Bakugo is launching the razor, dude. <laughs> oh, no. She. What? She got a hold of one of the grenades? <coughs> Or no. Yeah. No, she didn't. It's Sarah because of the tape. I was like, why is there tape there? And now I realized it is because Sarah was able to attach one of the b grenades that uh, Bakugo gave them all. They don't have a major amount of power. So then he was testing his theory. So like it, to reset her time limit so that they don't she doesn't have to regenerate and exhaust herself even quicker she recalls them after a short period and it's like well if it's going back to the mothership let's put a bomb on it shall we <laughs> uh, let's see okay definitely Sarah was more intelligent than I would have given credit for Good on you, tape dude. 
And now Bakugo has found her main portion of her body, and he's just giving her a good old blast to the face. Um, point blank stun grenade. Yep, oh, his, uh, so it's like I haven't changed my, he all, his dream and stuff, his goal has always been the same, to surpass even All Might as the number one hero. Hmm. An explosive victory. My Hero Academia, chapter 208, end. Okay, that was pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to conclude literally two chapters in. We Normally it's been like about three, maybe four. I, I'd have to look back to make sure, but because like sometimes it would start about midway through a chapter or something, so it's hard to say if you should count that as a chapter, you know? But, uh, hmm. Very efficient. So, team four... Good job. Hmm. This this is interesting. <laughs> Sadly that um Sato didn't really get to shine that much in this. I wonder if we'll get their like hero evaluation kind of things, like what they did wrong, which they did a lot right, but I mean the fact that not everyone got to really play, like Jiro was always being used to like find where the enemy was. Then you had uh, Saro, he could, you know, restrain them a lot more efficiently than just say Sato could, who just grapples you. Hmm. And then he could also try to keep some of the incoming attack, you know, from getting to you by wrapping up with that barrage tape that he used last chapter. Hmm. And then Bakugo is your heavy hitter. He just rushes in and then... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> uh, it's like, if the first blast didn't take you out, I'll send ten more. But, hmm. He still shows a lot of firepower. But he did say he got warmed up. So that, that probably helped a lot. Uh, but yeah. Overall, I very much enjoyed this chapter. But, uh... So, uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and my Discord. Links down below. Let me know what you thought about the chapter. And until next time, Keyslings, roll out.